seeing the light. The distinguished couple that I met at Lock Garten were well spoken and obviously highly educated professionals. After all, they arrived in a Mercedes Benz. In fact, he was a diplomat and she was a scientist. I chatted with them. I mentioned that it was a particularly beautiful September evening because, even although it was flat calm, there were very few midges about. The lady suggested to me that it was maybe because of the long winter that the midges were reduced in numbers this summer. It was a good year for the visitor, she said, but a bad year if you were a midgy. We spoke about Perth, where they came from, their friends in Elgin, and how stunning the west coast is. We talked about the beauty of the lock and how peaceful it was that evening. They asked me if I knew where the osprey's nest was. I said that I did, but that I could not possibly reveal that to them. They accepted this with good grace. They said that they had been watching some deer and it was fascinating. A charming and cool couple. They had that worldly sophistication of people who are well-traveled, intelligent and successful. Later, I wandered deeper into the woods where it was surprisingly quite dark out of the direct sunlight. Ahead of me, a shaft of light burst through the trees lighting up a small circle on the ground. At first I thought I was imagining things. However I wasn't. On the ground was a small shrine with flowers and poems and little statues. There was also a container of someone's ashes and a card telling the story of a young man who had died in action during the Second World War. The card explained that the spirit of the man was laid to rest in the place he loved. The shrine was obviously visited regularly, and maintained, judging by the pretty flowers in the little vases and the immaculate condition of the display of memento mori. The shaft of light piercing through the trees had isolated the shrine, lighting it up in a way which gave it an almost spiritual quality in the darkness of the woods. I crouched down, pointed my camera close, and framed the scene. But I never pressed the shutter. The lighting was remarkable but I thought it would be inappropriate to photograph such a private thing, even although it was in public view. And so the only record is in my memory.